actually, I met Vu by phone. We did this sort of phone calls when um, recruiting PhD students. I called him, and I think it was like four, five, four thirty in the morning or five. He knew I was going to call, but it was still. And we had a nice conversation, sort of ch checking out English and so forth. And he asked me, he asked me then, is there anything I can read to get started? And I thought, there's an interesting article, and it was an article about the cost of entry, about how procedures are different in one country and another. Yeah. That was four and a half years ago. And today we have the answer. So <laughs> we stayed, I mean, he and I have met like two hours a week during that entire time. So I know, we, and, and we have stayed focused on that same theme all along. And so today is the results, and good luck. The protocol, as you know, most of you have been through this. Uh, Vu will make a presentation. It should be not longer than 45 minutes. We try to hold it for questions to be clarification questions. Um, but I, you know, if there's, so the idea is to try to keep bunch the discussion questions till after that. And there's a, we have a, a discussion. It's the, it's, it's primarily the committee members, it's the committee members that are challenging him today. So the audience is welcome here, but I may, if you have a, a strong question, raise your hand and I'll see if we can fit it in, but it's primarily the, the committee members. And then, then comes the, the time when we ask Vu to take the walk, which means he goes outside, the other guests go outside, and then we have a private discussion by the committee and we come up with a verdict and then we announce the verdict. Okay? Yep. Um, first of all, uh, thank you to the committee member, especially uh, Professor Lee, my advisor. Uh, the person that guided me to this boring area, <laughs> I must say. Uh, thank you, Professor Anastasia from uh, Italy, Professor Sudonghei. And thank you all of the other committee members and my friends for your participation. Do we have the audio recorder? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Right. The uh, the topic of my dissertation is a deontic analysis of interorganizational control requirements. And uh, first of all, I think it's important to distinguish the notion of control here and the notion of control mentioned in computer science or cybernetics or <laughs> engineering because maybe the concept is slightly different. The concept of control here is more about auditing control or organizational control. I mean control against potential fraud in a procedure, rather than control the flow of the process or the flow of the program in uh, traditional computer science or cybernetic flow. My dissertation focuses on controls of interorganizational transaction. Underpinning most interorganizational transaction are the only relation, which are about right and obligation of the participants. For instance, the purpose of a sale transaction is to ensure that the seller fulfills his obligation of deliver the good and the buyer fulfills his obligation of payment. When all of the parties trust his order, control may not be needed. However, in situations where the participants do not know or trust his order, they must rely on explicit control in order to reduce their exposure to the risk of opportunistic behavior by the counterparty. However, at present, there is no analytical approach or technique to determine what control are needed for a given contracting or governance situation. And this research is the first step towards that direction. The objective of my research is to develop a formal method for deriving control requirement from the ontic process model. And what is the ontic process model? I, I hope you go through the concept by reading the dissertation. However, we will uh, revisit the concepts here. But instead of looking at the flows of document and data moving back and forth among different trading parties, we look at the underlying the only purpose of the transaction and identify necessary control in order to secure the purposes. So by not looking at the surface level of the procedure, but look at the purpose of the procedure, what is the procedure for, and based on that, identify control to secure the purposes. The deliverable of the research include the formal methods for modeling the ontic process and assess our control principle. The control principle will be used to derive a control requirement and a working prototype. Here I develop a working prototype in Prolog. The working prototype will take 
a deontic process model and certain domain knowledge as inputs to generate control requirement. And these control requirement may be considered as a kind of constraints on the documentary procedure. The documentary procedure need to satisfy these requirements in order to secure the involved party against potential fraud. So I organized the presentation that follow. The first session is about the motivation of the research. The second session presents a redesigned methodology based on the ontic process modeling. In the third session, I will state the objective of the research, identify challenges to achieve the objective. I will also briefly explain the solution in the third session, I will present the result of the dissertation and uh, the validation of the result. Uh, finally, I summarize the main points of the dissertation and uh, portray several directions for future research. I also incorporate the two more sessions in the senior, a demonstration session, with it try to demonstrate the function of the program. And another session is an appendix, which contains some extra slides that may help you to answer to address some of your questions, I will visit this slide just in case it's necessary. The main motivation for my dissertation is the redesign of interorganizational procedure. So interorganizational transactions typically involve a chain of interconnecting procedure. In the procedure, besides the main activity that collectively realize the main objective of the transaction, which are about the exchange of goods services are money among multiple parties. Many other activities are added into the procedure for control purposes. So gradually, this led to complicated procedure. The issue is how to redesign the procedure to improve efficiency without compromising or losing control. That is the main motivation for the research. Potential application may be redesigned trade procedure as in trade facilitation that I will i focus a little bit more detail in the next couple of the slides. And uh, another area may be streamlining bureaucracy. If we build that kinds of thing at the redesign of government procedure. And another application may be the merger in acquisition of enterprises. 